Hey guys, if you're wondering why you see my face, it's because I had a traumatizing experience today in school and it needs facial expressions. Today, this freshman boy collapsed in gym class. We were on our way in when we hear the announcements go on and we hear, where are they? Where are they? And then they go silent. Then five, six seconds later, we hear, very panicking. This is a shelter in place. Medical team, please go to the upper gym. Stay in your classrooms. And we have no idea what happened. It turns out this freshman boy collapsed, had a seizure, and he lost his pulse. They got it back, thankfully, but it was really traumatizing because everyone's trying to figure out what's going on, and I'm trying to dodge all that because, as you guys know, I have anxiety. And I'll tell you why the anxiety comes into play with this. In fourth grade, I was diagnosed with a condition called vasovagal syncope, or neurocardiogenic syncope, or also known as vasodepressor syncope. And the medical definition of vasovagal syncope is a usually transitory condition that is marked specifically by fainting associated with a hypotension peripheral vasodilation bradycardia resulting from increased stimulation of the vagus nerve. It's not fun because I'm trying to dodge all the medical stuff. Those are my triggers. Anything medical, so anything like visual or verbal will trigger me. And the reason I talked about the anxiety is because Vasovagal syncope is usually triggered by an anxiety attack. And the vagus nerve, uh, it's usually described as an emotional seizure because your body shuts down like you're having a seizure, but your body doesn't shake. A lot of people think it's so cool to like pass out sometimes because you have people paying attention to you. And, but when you're having an episode, it's not fun. Believe me, in fourth grade, I had my first episode. I played this surgery game, and I had no idea what it was, and we they did an EKG, EK, I think it was called, or EKG, and they diagnosed me with uh, vasovagal syncope. It kind of didn't go away, but I didn't get triggered. And then in eighth grade, I had two episodes. Now I know my triggers. It's right behind my nose. And I get a stomach ache first, like I'm about to puke, and I get like this tingle feeling between behind my nose. Plus, like pale skin and the rest of like sweating. You sweat constantly when you're about to pass out. Last year, I had one instant where I like I almost passed out. I got to the nurse in time, laid down, and it just kind of just went away. But this year was the most scary episode I've ever had. I've added a new trigger to my uh, list of triggers. It's now needles also. And I'm about to fall asleep. I'm closing my eyes, I'm rocking my head to one side. When the nurses come rushing in and they're like, Bella, Bella, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Are you awake? Are you awake? Uh, how's Girl Scouts doing? How's the cookie sale? They're trying to keep me awake. We're gonna find your blood pressure. You're gonna. We're gonna find your pulse. They couldn't find my pulse. My pulse was really, really weak. They couldn't find my blood pressure. My blood pressure was sixty over thirty. That's a really low blood pressure. After they found my blood pressure, they said we're gonna give you glucose. Have you eaten today? I ate that day. I ate an empanada, and it was a good empanada. And they gave me glucose, like straight up glucose. They found my. Pulse. I don't know what my pulse was, but it was really, really weak. This is like six days after my birthday too, so I had just turned 16. By the time the EMTs came, my parents were there, they refused service because I was sitting, I was, I was talking, I was fine. It's a medical condition I have and it's something that's not gonna change me it doesn't change my lifestyle I'm careful about my triggers but that's it I'm chipmunk and remember guys stay true to who you are bye